Right, Jack. Over 60 in the previous two papers. Going really, really well. Let's see how you get on this week. Meters, litres, kilometres, kilograms, 58. Full marks on the first page. Can't ask for more than that. The reflection is good. That's a cylinder, that's a pentagon. This is just called a triangular prism. Two there, four for the page. Radius. Now, they're asking for the name of the line. Okay? The segment is the area. Okay? Those are two segments. The line is a chord. So, uh, you're in the right area, certainly, but because it's the lines they want, then uh, you don't get that. Two marks for that. That's correct, that's correct. Good. Six fifteenths is correct, but it's not two thirds. It's two fifths. You divide top and bottom by three. You get six divided by three is two. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that bit there was right. So you're only going to get one of the two marks for that. Okay, total for the page 5, 9. It's 8, it's 11. Uh, 8 cube plus b equals a correct and 3b not b cubed 3b equals a is also correct but what you're missing and the most important bit is because both of those balance that must equal that and it's from there that you work out your answer So 2B would equal 8, B equals 4, and once you know that, you can then work out what A is. So 8 plus 4 equals A, A equals 12. Okay, you haven't quite done enough there to merit any marks. Multiply the number you first added by 4. Um, right, well again, you need to use the word, you haven't, and it's not, you're not describing it correctly there, the number you first added by 4, you're just multiplying every the previous number by 4, so it's just the previous number by and then the word so you're not going to get the mark anyway because you've used a digit 27 is correct 45 x is correct y take 3 is correct good again we've practiced that since you've handed the paper in so you should be able to do that now 6 9 for the page Sixty one point five, sixty point five. Good, good, good. Fourteen twenty eight, two for this one. Take a look at the video clip. You're going backwards, so instead of multiplying by one point one nine, which you would do to turn pounds into euros, you do the opposite of that, which would be dividing by one point one nine. Uh, total for the page eight. Two pound fifty eight. Good. Well done. Four for the page. Watch my video clips for the gaps. Make sure you can do them. I'll go through this in class. Something that you wouldn't be used to doing. Well done. Good stuff. Oh, and that's excellent too. Well done. That's good. Take a look at my video clip for that one. They do make it harder by introducing algebra. The scatter is good 80 40 this shows no correlation 
which means the age does not affect the price. Beautifully, beautifully described. Five marks. It's not trig, okay? We don't have trig in the foundation tier. So um, that's Pythag, and that is something that I'll try and get covered before you do the exam. That's well done, and that's a tricky question. Um, four marks overall for that page. I'm, I'm feeling very confident with this, Jack. That is a good um, paper. You've, you've pulling marks off every page, so that's good. Let's see just how good. 12, 16, 25, 34, 42, 46, 55, 60, 64. 64 out of 100. So uh, that's again nicely in, in the 60s. Um, I'm going to play safe and say it's a D and it's about six marks from a grade C. Um, so if you go in, there are marks there that you have left on the page, uh, but there are a couple of things that in there as well that you left out because you didn't know how to do. So have a look at my clip for the bits that you got wrong or you left out and see if you can uh, put those right. That's very good.